Hi, my name is Mikhail, Mikhail Zaplishny. I'm here to tell you my story, how I'm gotten in trouble in Toronto, Canada. Currently, I'm dying of cancer. It's a leukemia, AML kind. And um, I've been in a hospital, in a Princess Margaret hospital, uh, for more than three months now. And when it comes to leukemia, Princess Margaret Hospital is second best in the world hospital that, that treats it. In, in any case, I've already spent three months and uh, doctors have given me two to 12 months to live. My wife and I, we refuse to believe that this is going to happen. And we trying to find alternative methods and alternative sources where we can simply, well, if you like to call it a second opinion, that also will be accurate, to see if uh, alternative methods or the, second of, uh, the secondary methods will help me to survive. For that, we, after a long, prolonged research, we found a place in Phoenix, Arizona, um, needless to say, it's, uh, <laughs> it's United States, and they don't pay anything. Uh, here in Canada, we have OHIP, and we're lucky. You have no idea how lucky we are that OHIP pays for everything. So my wife and I have to go to Phoenix, Arizona, and uh, start my treatments. We have to take a second mortgage in our house, uh, we have to ask all of our friends that we know and uh, relatives to to give us money because taking a, even taking a second mortgage in the house I'm not sure will be enough to cover treatment of this disease so I'm recording this video to tell you my story that up until 2011 I was a happy-go-lucky person who had no worries in life. I had a, I was married. I had a wife that I loved to, to, to death. I had a place to live. I bought a condo. It was a place of my, my very own. Um, I had a car. So financially, I was doing very well, and I had an excellent job as well, which was very satisfying, financially stable, um, and then in 2011, I was diagnosed with cancer called germ cell cancer, which apparently is a very rare kind of cancer, and only 800 people get diagnosed in North America. When, when I started my treatments, I had to sign a bunch of papers, release forms, and um, things that, that are saying if something happens to me, that hospital does not carry responsibility for that. One of them was a high chance of leukemia. So my treatment of germ cell tumor went absolutely stellar. The disease went away, everything was great. We had all kinds of procedures in mind set up uh, and all of those procedures uh, have have been executed. First, first of all, it was a chemotherapy, uh, and I had four of them. And chemotherapy, it took about four months to go through it. Through it, uh, essentially, almost killed the cancer. It it dried up my cancer inside of me, and. Um, when uh, we has we still had to do an operation called sternotomy we went inside and opened myself up and uh, cut the rest of the cancer out and everything was good every couple of months i would go in for tests and uh, cancer was in complete remission and everything was great but uh, i wasn't anticipating that i will be getting a leukemia which happened three months ago or you can call that recently 
And uh, I had two chemotherapies. First chemotherapy was, um, well, any chemotherapy is quite intense. So first chemotherapy was relatively intense. And I, I struggled through it. I got through it. But immediately after finishing it, my leukemia came back. Second chemotherapy uh, had to be done differently. My doctors discovered that my chromosomes uh, were badly damaged. I had 12 different chromosomes that were damaged. And my chemotherapy had to, had to be um, absolutely crazy. So what they did, they prescribed something that was eight times more powerful than the first chemo and which n nearly killed me when I went through the procedure. I was, uh, I felt like I was burning from inside and out. Like I felt like I, I was put in a microwave oven and inside of my mouth was all bubbly uh, as if it was burned. So it took me good month and a half to start seeing results where my bone marrow start producing certain things like platelets and and red blood cells and that sort of stuff but that's still nowhere near where it should be and doctors like I said in the beginning of this video giving me 2 to 12 months to live and we're trying to find alternative treatments and alternative methods for me to go through and survive so please, please, if you're watching this video, if you have, um, if you have an opportunity to help, I encourage you to click on the PayPal link below and donate any amount you can. Any amount would be appreciated. There's no such thing as a lot or a very little. Any amount would be appreciated. So. Um, we will also be organizing galas and uh, posting updates on our website and you'll be more than welcome to come and and participate in our galas because we're going to have a lot of fun prizes and uh, fun activities going on um, we will we will try to make it very interesting so this is the end of my story um, and like i said before if you can, please help me in any way. I would greatly appreciate it. God bless you and your family. Thank you.